parcel tables. At some point along the development process, we will be required to create a subdivision plat. In addition, we may also be asked to provide a real estate's agent with a list of parcels, along with areas and lot lines. To do that, we need to create parcel tables. In the drawing area, select a parcel. From the ribbon, click on Add Tables, then Add Line. In the Table Creation windows, we need to split the table as needed. We also need to keep the tables dynamic. That option automatically updates the tables, should anything change with the parcels. We also want to convert the segment labels to tags. That's a very good thing to do since it improves plan readability and presentation. Instead of having all the bearing, distance, and radius information overcrowd the drawing area, we can just convert them to tags. Now we can reference them in a table. To do that, click on the No Tag Selected button. Zoom out in the drawing and make a rectangular selection. The lower left and the upper right corners of the selection should completely cover the proposed project area. Then, press Enter at the command line to accept the selection. In the new window, click on Convert All Selected Label Styles to Tag Mode. It's self-explanatory, but this will effectively convert all labels to tag mode. We are now brought back to the Table Creation window, where we can notice the total number of labels created. Click OK. Click on an empty spot in the drawing to view a complete list of parcel segment tables. To make the tags easier to reference between the drawing and the tables, we can sort the tables in an ascending or descending order. This can be done by right-clicking first on the table, then select Edit Table Styles. In the next window, make sure the Data Properties tab is activated. Then, check Sort Data. After that, choose to sort by ascending order. You can also change the text settings and adjust styles and heights for the table title, header, or cells. Note also that the table styles and coloring schemes can be changed on the Display tab. Additionally, we can generate specific reports for team members who do not use Civil 3D in their daily work. A listing of the subdivision plat information can be created in the form of Excel, text document, or even HTML files. Simply click on the toolbox, not to be confused with the tool space. A quick reminder that the toolbox is part of the tool space. Click the Report Settings button to adjust your preferences. Adjust the necessary information, such as the client's name and contact data. When done, click OK. Make sure the Report Manager tree structure is open by clicking on the plus sign. Then, navigate to the parcel line and click on the plus sign. Afterward, double click on Area Report, for instance. In the new window that opens, you will be presented with options to export information to an XML file. Don't be overwhelmed by the high number of boxes you can check or uncheck. You have already specified that you want a parcel area report. So go ahead and click OK. Choose a directory to export the output file. Before saving, you have an option to change the file format to either HTML, Word document, Excel sheet, text, or PDF. Click to save the report in the project folder. We now have an HTML or CSV report that we can attach to a development site plan. To recap, in this lesson we have learned how to create parcels from existing objects such as polylines, how to use the parcel creation tools to lay out a residential subdivision, and how to modify, renumber, and label parcels. Next, we will start designing subdivision streets. First up, in the Street Design module, Alignments. Thanks for watching Infratech Civil to the Point Training.